Bonus lesson, gluten chemistry. Let's dig a little deeper into the chemistry of gluten. Gluten is a formless protein that comes from the seeds of three grains, wheat, rye, and barley. At the top of each stalk are a cluster of seeds. The seeds are harvested and commonly made into flour. Gluten is the protein that is inside the seeds. If you could look into the tiny bits of wheat flour, you would find strands of gluten protein tightly wrapped around molecules of starch. There are two specific proteins, glutenin and gliadin, inside of the wheat seed. When the seeds are ground into flour, these two proteins stay tightly coiled around the dry starch. When liquid is added to wheat flour, the proteins begin to unwind and let go of the starch molecule. As the flour is kneaded or mixed, the water, the glutenin and the gliadin begin to chemically interact and literally stick together. The bond that forms between them is gluten. This chemical bond is very stable and does not break down in heat, cold, or water. As the dough continues to be kneaded, the gluten develops further and more gluten bonds form. Eventually, the gluten bonds begin to line up in sheets. The sheets are very strong and elastic. They can stretch, bend, hold shape, and trap air bubbles from yeast or leaveners. This is where gluten gets its name from. Gluten is a very good glue that helps food stick together. With proper kneading and mixing, the gluten sheets can be stretched very thin and produce a strong, flexible dough. Think of a pizza dough being tossed in the air, or roti prata being stretched so thin that is nearly transparent, or the inside of a flaky croissant. That is gluten in action.